And the address, sir? Fred Pavilion, 79 Oliver Avenue. 79? Your, your name again? 79. Your name again, sir? Fred Billier. Billier. I'll spell it for you. B as in boy, I L L I E U X. 79 Cummings, Fred? Oliver Avenue. Oliver, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's okay. Go ahead. Um, I oppose it for, for a simple reason is I, I feel as though if the size of the house that would be even remotely close to being put in there would drive everybody's property value down. Um, it's uh, the lot is so close to everybody else's you know, houses that <laughs> you'd be able to pass meals in between the houses. Okay. I mean, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Hi, my name is uh, Monique Groz. That's G R O S Z. And I reside at 74 Oliver Avenue. And just like my neighbor Fred said, the property is too small and it will definitely decrease the property value of our houses in the area. <laughs> and um, they did this already on Plum a few years back. Someone put in a small house in a tight spot, um, lower Plum Ave, and uh, I just would really hate it to decrease our value of our houses. Thank okay, you. Thank you. I mean, if it's all going to be the same, we'll just kind of limit it, okay? But if, if we've got different, different issues. Um, my name is Lynn Webster. I'm at 84 Cummings Avenue, and I'm not in support of this petition. Um, Again, the size at only 6,000 square feet, it's only half required area. It's also only 60 feet wide instead of 75. Um, and in recent years, our area has seen a significant growth in new construction. And I'm concerned that this would set a precedent that would allow for even more um, new development on non-conforming lots. It's also a pretty fairly slope site that drops down to all the properties on Cummings Avenue and owing to its small size, I think would be difficult to deal with any kind of drainage issues, would really have a negative impact on adjacent properties. Um, our neighborhood is very quiet with a lot of open space between the homes. The privacy afforded by the zoning requirements in our area and the relatively low density of building and population is one of the reasons that we moved there. So ignoring these zoning requirements would be detrimental to our property values, the character of the neighborhood, and the quality of life we have have there. So I urge you just to follow the current zoning bylaws and not approve the petition. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Carolyn Sibner, S-I-B-N-E-R, and I live at 98 Oliver Avenue. Um, and. I agree with what everyone else has already said, but the other, um, the other situation that I just, I still don't fully understand is, if you buy a property in 1975 and it's considered undevelopable, and I have paperwork here from 2003 showing it was undevelopable and the value was $1,800. When we moved in, we were told nobody will ever develop there because it's undevelopable. It's R132 or whatever the the coding is. I have it in here. But then all of a sudden in 2004, there's a for sale sign and it's valued at 28 or $28,000. I don't understand how you can pay taxes on a piece of property believing that it's undevelopable and then when you choose to sell it, say, oh, actually the value is much, much greater and I want to sell it now. It seems to me if you own the property and, it's, and you purchase it and it's considered undevelopable, then it's undevelopable and you're playing both sides of the coin to come back many years later to say, actually, um, it is developable and now I want my, my full money. Um, so that it's a principle that probably applies to lots of little parcels around the city, but it's a, a concept that I don't think is fair. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Tom Hamilton. I live at 101 Oliver Ave. I have bought the property. I just want to say, like, I'll be brief, like everybody else, it's too tight, it's too close. I'm living right next door to the lot. It's way too close to put anything into. And uh, I hope they stick with the zoning laws. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Emily Piper. I live at 97 Oliver. 
my land abuts the lot on the south side. And in case there's any confusion still among your board members, the entire property is an L shape with the house and an extra lot on Cummings and the lot in question backing up to the empty one on Cummings on, on Oliver. <coughs> 